It's time for my random thought 13. And what I'm going to talk about now are the Trump surrogates. It needs to be said, and I, and I, and I have a question to ask every one of the Trump surrogates. You know, 13 is an unlucky number, and of course, there are several Trump surrogates, and I have to ask all of them, do you guys realize that one day this election is going to be over? And if Trump wins... You have a job, maybe, because, let's face it, Trump isn't very loyal. And if he loses, you may not have a job. So let's talk about Trump surrogates. Um, Patton Oswald said this perfectly. He said that Trump is an argument against himself. And, and then his surrogates, they have to go on and explain what he really meant to say. And some of the things they come up with are like totally ingenious. Um, I can't think of them any of any of them right now because I'm just trying to wipe that all from, from my brain because you know the election will be over soon and I really don't want that stuff in my head once the election is over. Because even if Trump wins, I don't want to have to think about the conniptions that these people had to put themselves through. And some of the looks that I see on commentators' face. SNL did a bit recently where it was a day in the life of Kelly Ann Conway. And she's the only one whose name I know because, you know, I used to like her. And, and I didn't even really want to see her work for Trump, but she does. And some of the things that she says on TV, it really boggles my mind because I still like her, but I don't like what Trump stands for, but I still like her. So that's horrible that she's still someone that can be likable, even while talking about someone who's a misogynist, someone who's an abuser, someone who has the potential to do some really horrible things to the nation. So, um, yeah, I had to talk about the Trump surrogates because that's just something that <clears throat> I was watching this show and I just, I, I, I don't see how they can do it. You could not pay me enough money to go on TV and talk about why America should make the biggest mistake it could ever make in its existence and make Donald Trump president. And even with that being said, I still do feel that he can win. Why? Because Hillary Clinton is like the possibly the worst candidate ever to run for president. And this isn't even the first time she ran. She didn't get the message in 2008. They had to send that message to 2016. And now she's picking up the message that she is unelectable as president. But going back to the Trump surrogates, I have to repeat what I said at the beginning of this random thought, which is, do they realize that one day this election will be over and they will have to go for new jobs? I think people should comment below what some of the jobs would be for the Trump surrogates after the election. And there are two categories, their jobs after Trump loses and their jobs after Trump wins. So um, I'm putting my money on that a few of them will be helping build the wall. Yeah, and I could say that will be the black ones, but I think that really Trump doesn't trust any of them. So all of them will be helping build the wall that, of course, Mexico will pay for so that he won't pay them while they wait for Mexico to pay because that's just how Donald plays. And that's my random thought number 13 on the Trump surrogates.